Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. So today I'm going to be doing green passion fruits. So I actually was not thinking of doing this review today, but I was reorganizing my little tea bin and I noticed that this was like torn apart and some of the tea was falling out of it. So it was falling out of like these, I don't even know what tore it apart, but I was like, I might as well do it since I won't be able to do it again. <laughs> since I'd have to use it before the tea spills everywhere. So I just have it in this little pitcher packet. Um, I used it all up, but I will insert a clip of the tea. Uh, so this is green passion fruit. This is a green tea. It says, calling all passion fruit lovers, this fresh tropical green tea will become your new obsession with sweet pineapple, pretty flowered petals, and a big hit of tangy passion fruit essence. This juice and energizing blend is a delicious way to get your fix. Try it as a refreshingly fruity iced tea or infuse into your next martini. Ingredients are pineapple, green tea, currants, natural pineapple flavoring, corn flower petals, marigold petals, and natural fruit, oops, passion fruit mango flavoring with stevia extract. So I'm not too sure what collection this came from, but it is available now. It is $9.98 per 50 grams. Um, I think this is from like the summer maybe. Yeah, it's one of those iced tea single serves. So I just have it iced here. I steeped it up for four minutes and 30 seconds at a green tea temperature. Um, it smells kind of like a creamy green tea when I smelt it. I didn't smell much of the pineapple or the mango but I did smell the green tea, so. Tasting it, I did add a little bit of honey. You don't really taste the stevia in this. It's very, very, very um, subtle. I don't taste any of the pineapple. I taste the passion fruit and the mango flavoring and the green tea, so you don't really get the pineapple or the cornflower petals or the marigold petals. What I'm getting from this is the passion fruit flavoring and the mango flavoring. It's kind of like a creamy, juicy passion fruit and mango. It's a very light, refreshing tea. It's pretty good. This isn't a favorite of mine or anything, but it's not bad. So, um, yeah, this isn't really a tea that I would purchase on its own, though. If it was on sale, then maybe. Um, so, would I repurchase this? Yes. Would I stock up? No. Rating out of 10, it is a very, it's not very tropical either. It's more or less just like a fruit infused green tea. It's nothing really special. Um, it does have that kind of green tea tang at the back of your mouth, the back of your palate um, when you're done sipping on it. Um, yeah, the, the stevia isn't really prominent in this, which is good because I know some people hate stevia, but... Yeah, this one, this one's not bad. I like this one. I just thought I would do this review since the bag ripped open and I had no choice. <laughs> but yeah, this one's not bad. It's, um, it's a, it's a good sweet. It's not overpowering. Um, yeah, uh, rating out of 10, I'd probably rate this one at like a six and a half out of 10. It's a good refreshing green tea, but it, it's simple. It's nothing special in my opinion, which is why it's, it's at a six out of 10 for me. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you so much for watching.